Either of you, just your thoughts on Erin's game that she had today. Um, I know she almost had another double-double and went 9-of-9 nine nine from the free throw line. Um, I mean, it's no surprise to us. I think it's a surprise to other people, but not to us. We see her do it in practice every day. And throughout the two games that we played, she's been consistent enough with double-doubles. So it's no surprise. Um, we were rooting for her to get that. You know, last one, we were joking, like, somebody missed or she missed her free throw. But we didn't want her to mess up her 9-for-9. Nine nine. So I think she played a great game. And I can just see, like, she's so much more confident this year. And then I know, Michaela, you've played in an elementary day game before. But Chrissy, this was your first time to play in front of all these kids. Just what were your thoughts about it? Um, loud. Uh, <laughs> it was super loud for 1030 in the morning. But um, honestly, it was great. The energy was, was awesome. Um, I'm happy that they got that experience. Um, I know if I was an elementary school kid, I would probably be jumping on my seat too. But um, the energy was amazing. Um, and yeah, I think it kind of helped us like with the early morning game to kind of get us going and get the energy flowing and wake us up a little bit. So yeah, it was great. Just talk about your, your ankle injury, I guess, and you know how it feels. Um, yeah, I just tweaked it a little bit, um, going after a loose or rebound, loose ball, whatever you want to call it. But I'm good. I'm expected to practice, play everything. So I'll be good. Michaela, you connected with Aaron on more than a few occasions in that second half. Could you just talk about y'all's chemistry both on and off the court? Um, I mean, we've been playing now. This is our fourth year together. But I think I know Aaron is a post that's willing to pass. And so I know if I cut, if I'm open, she's going to hit me. And if the person behind me is open, she's going to hit them. And I think last year we also had a game like this where she hit me on a lot of cuts. Um, but I just like she knows I'm cutting and I know that she's going to find me. And you came out um, aggressive in that second quarter. Is that uh, a key for you, or is that just a product of what the defense was giving you? Um, I think it's what they were giving me. And sometimes I think I kind of let the game come to me. But being a leader on this team, like I feel like I need to be more aggressive in like going to get it. And that's not forcing stuff, but just being aggressive like for all four quarters. And I don't even think today I was aggressive all four quarters. But sometimes I think our team just kind of needs to pick me up. And I think me being aggressive can like kind of bring us energy. And this can go for either one of you guys. I know um, mentoring the next sort of generation of young athletes, and specifically young girls, is something that's important to everyone on this team. What does it mean to be able to play to so many in front of so many kids that look up to you? Um, I think it's awesome um, being able to have uh, little eyes on you, and um, I think it helps us learn a lot too, um, as far as keeping our composure, um, just being able to play our game and know that people are watching and that they really are like mirroring us and mimicking us whenever they get on on the floor um and you know i think our team does a good job of being able to be great role models for young men and women off the court so thank you you're i know both y'all are starters but you had tw three players come off the bench to get 24 points combined what does it mean to you know when you take barnum out and you put 30 in you know i mean you, you don't really you lose some but you don't 24 points off the bench talk about that um, I just think this year everyone has a certain role and I think it's going to take time for people to accept that role but I think we're doing a good job of working towards that and it's only going to make it harder for teams when Aaron subs out and we bring Miriam in and it's like no let off like that gives the other team no break so I think it's just going to make it harder for teams to guard us and I think once we all have accepted those roles it's we're going to be unstoppable. Not only are y'all bigger inside this year, but you got Leith all over the court, really. Just talk about that and how it makes it tough on uh, other teams' defenses. Um, honestly, I think it helps out a lot. Um, you know, it gets it. I'm gonna say this: we're longer and we're we're bigger, but also like Michaela plays just as big as I do. I mean, she's in there getting offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. She's in there, and so. Um, Honestly, I think it really just comes to how much heart you have for the game and how much toughness you have. Um, but, I mean, it is nice to be able to, like, get beat and then you turn around and you got Miriam down there blocking the shot. It makes <laughs> it makes the mistake a lot better. Um, but, yeah, I, I can attest this year we are a lot longer. Um, and it's been great. Coach Neighbors touched on it multiple times. Um, so, yeah.